princess and recently shared shocking revelations about the Princess of Wales' return after her cancer battle, leaving fans deeply moved. These revelations offer a rare glimpse into the inner workings of royal life and the challenges facing younger members of the monarchy, particularly the Princess of Wales. Princess, and known for her discretion and her strong sense of duty, has always maintained a steady and composed exterior. However, behind this calm demeanor lies an inner struggle, one worsened by the increasing absence of young royals at key moments in the monarchy's evolving story. In a recent interview, Princess and reflected on her decades of service and how royal life has changed over the years. She acknowledged the significant challenges that the younger generation of royals faces, particularly Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and expressed empathy for their struggles, and highlighted how the dynamics of the royal family have evolved drastically since her own early years, particularly with the overwhelming influence of modern media and social platforms. Unlike younger royals, who often find themselves targets of cruelty amplified by relentless social media scrutiny, and has navigated her duties with a pragmatic approach. She views her responsibilities not as mere obligations, but as a sincere and lifelong commitment to serving both the monarchy and the British people. Princess Catherine had earlier announced her cancer diagnosis on March 22, with her treatment continuing for several months. On September 9, she released a video message via social media, confirming that she had completed chemotherapy. In the heartfelt message, Filmed at the family's country home, Amher Hall, she shared her personal experiences of battling cancer alongside Prince William and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. As the summer comes to an end, I cannot tell you what a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment, she said in the three-minute clip. The last nine months have been incredibly tough for us as a family. Life as you know it can change in an instant and we have had to find a way to navigate the stormy waters and road unknown. Throughout her illness, Princess Kate remained committed to her duties as much as her health would allow. Even while working from home, she continued to be updated on her Early Years Project, an initiative that focuses on the importance of early childhood development. According to the court circular, which records the activities of the British royal family, the princess held a significant meeting at Windsor Castle, marking the beginning of her gradual return to royal duties. As reported by The Telegraph, she met with her Center for Early Childhood team members and Kensington Palace staff to discuss her passionate work on early childhood development. The court's circular entry reads, The Princess of Wales, Joint Patron, the Royal Foundation of the Prince and Princess of Wales, this afternoon held an early years meeting at Windsor Castle, emphasizing the importance of her involvement in this initiative. This moment signals Princess Kate's first official engagement since completing her cancer treatment, and royal fans will be delighted to see her resuming her responsibilities after such a challenging period in her life. Anne's revelations have also placed a spotlight on Catherine, whose role in the royal family, according to the Princess Royal, is substantial and should not be underestimated. Despite the pervasive nature of digital communication, Princess and emphasizes its limitations, underscoring the importance of personal, face-to-face -face interactions in a world that increasingly relies on virtual connections. With her characteristic humor, she even joked about her aversion to platforms like Twitter, stating that no amount of money could persuade her to actively use them. Catherine's strength and resilience, especially demonstrated through her recovery during intensive cancer treatment, has not only been a personal victory but also a symbol of her unwavering dedication to her royal duties. Princess Anne's support for Catherine underscores a broader plan to ensure that younger royals, such as Catherine and key figures like Mike and Zara Tyndall, Lady Louise Windsor, and Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, are properly prepared and trained to become future pillars of the monarchy. A key aspect of Anne's focus is on the royal family's societal involvement through charity work and the effective management of royal finances. This plan is particularly relevant given the health concerns surrounding King Charles, whose age and cancer treatment have sparked discussions about swift succession planning. The need to remove negative perceptions surrounding the royal family has become a pressing issue, with talks of possibly revoking titles and financial support from controversial figures such as Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. 
princess and a steadfast figure within the monarchy, continues to navigate the delicate balance between upholding tradition and embracing necessary changes. Her inner conflict reflects the broader existential crisis facing the monarchy as it strives to remain relevant in an ever-evolving world. Despite the mounting pressures, Anne's dedication to her royal duties remains unshaken, and she carries out her roles with grace, strength, and unwavering loyalty. As the monarchy faces an uncertain future, Princess Anne's role remains pivotal. Her unique ability to bridge generational gaps and offer pragmatic leadership provides stability during transitional periods. Her insights into royal affairs and her deep understanding of the challenges faced by both the older and younger members of the family ensure her lasting influence. Anne's journey through decades of royal service has exemplified resilience, dedication, and a profound sense of duty. From her early years in the royal spotlight to her current status as a senior member of the monarchy, she has consistently demonstrated leadership, integrity, and a deep commitment to the crown. In a parallel development, tensions within the royal family have reached a boiling point, with Prince William and Queen Camilla at the center of a heated conflict. Reports have surfaced that Queen Camilla, once seen as a mother figure to William, has explosively confronted her stepson, leading to a significant clash. Prince William, not one to back down, responded with equal intensity. This conflict has emerged at a critical time, as King Charles III continues his battle with cancer, raising concerns about the stability of the monarchy. Recently, in his new memoir Meet Ella, The Dog Who Saved My Life, James Middleton reveals a heartwarming and unexpected moment when his sister, Princess Catherine, first met his wife, Alizy Thevenet, at their family home. The memoir offers a rare glimpse into the private lives of the Middleton family, including this special encounter that took place before James and Alizy tied the knot. James, the younger brother of the Princess of Wales, has been married to Alizy for three years, and the couple has since welcomed their first child, a son named Inigo. However, before their storybook wedding, James recounts the moment when his sister Catherine, Prince William, and their children first met Alizy while the couple was still dating. 